right, this is the hole cutter. This is the dust catcher. This is the whole reason that I bought this. Looks like some things got moved around in shipping. If you look at this, this is a rubber seal. That's nice. So you can press up hard and in theory, no drywall dust should come through this. So I am excited to use this. All right, this is some basic instructions printed on really poor resolution. So you do get some extra blades. That is nice. You get a measuring tape. You get a measuring tape only in centimeters. Here are all the bits. It looks like this is a masonry bit. This would go through concrete. And then this bit you could probably use for other things. You see the point here to get nice and precise. I like that about these bits. And it does come with a tool that you can use here to take the bit out. It looks like currently it has a masonry bit, so I will want to do that. Uh, it has an extra bit that's just short i guess not really sure what that is for with the tool itself right here you can loosen it and then you want to adjust it to exactly where you are at and it looks like this is only in centimeters as well so that measuring tape will come in handy because you need to measure out in centimeters and you want to make sure that these are exactly identical as close as you can get it otherwise it will make drilling the hole a little bit more difficult so to use it you want to take this part off with the spring oh i'm going the wrong way then you get your dust catcher feed that through ah beautiful beautiful so i like put the spring back on lefty tidy righty loosey for this kind of weird you can manage maybe and then and then you can see the spring comes in handy so i need to drill my hole here it already has a junction box i'm actually going to use the junction box kind of to help guide where it goes because i need the drill bit to go right in the middle so i actually drilled a pilot hole so i will drill through the junction box and basically cut around it and hope it goes well and hope I can get the junction box out after that. So I'm really hoping there's no mess, but you should always wear safety glasses, especially with sheetrock, because it gets messy no matter what. This is not fun stuff. <laughs> We'll see. No, oh, sorry, sorry. So my experience with this has been if you are drilling a hole where there's nothing behind it, it works fantastically well. You don't get dust anywhere. It makes a nice, easy hole, really to, really easy to use. Now, as I showed in my video, I was cutting where a joist was, and so that made things a little bit more difficult. As soon as I went through the sheetrock, it kind of got stuck on the wood. So that was kind of a difficulty, not too bad. I think my only real complaint with this is when this spins, it spins the whole dust catcher. Now, when you push up against it, it does not, but you have to push kind of hard. And I like to have really fine control. I don't want to have to push really hard because as you saw in my video, when I'm pushing hard, like it just tends to go through really quick. I like when I'm under a joist to be able to go nice and slow so I'm not going up against the wood. That's really my only complaint is I wish maybe the spring wasn't so tight and that might actually be on me. I think I tightened the spring quite a bit where I should have had it loose. So that was probably my fault. But overall, if you need to drill holes in the ceiling, do not use one without a dust catcher. It's not worth it. Trust me, I've done it. I actually have another tool to drill holes. And the only reason I got this was because of the dust catcher. It is worth it. This is nice.